Hi everybody! I'm getting ready to go to Brazil. It's now five days until we're leaving and I'm actually ready to go because we just had the first snow of the season. It's about 15 centimeters out there and I'm just ready to go sit in the sun and sip a caipirinha on the beach. But that also means it's time for us to pack our bags again. I already did one video where I talk about how I repack my things for a long flight, which things I put in my personal items and which things I put into my backpack just to have the trip as comfortable as possible. But I really want to have everything ready that I need during the flight. I don't want to be the person who has to ask everybody else in the row to please get up so I can get something from my bag that's in the overhead compartment. And I also often use it to have things that I need to present at the airport security ready, like my tech items that I need to put in a separate bin or my toiletries sometimes. And afterwards I received many questions about the bag I'm using, so I thought I would take the opportunity and just talk a little bit more about personal item bags and which ones I like to use. Because in my opinion they are crucial to make your trip as comfortable as possible. So the first bag I used religiously as a personal item was the Eagle Creek Backable Tote Bag. You could use it as a tote bag or as a backpack, which was useful because I used it sometimes as a day bag, but most of the time I just used it as a tote. And it was very thin and you could pack it very small up if you don't need it anymore, so this was very handy. Another nice thing was that it was almost the exact size for a personal item and it had a zipper on top, so I would just stuff everything I had and everything I used into this bag and just close the zipper and squish it wherever it needed to be. At the end I retired this bag with a broken heart because it was just very... After five years of constant use it was very banged up and started to get a few holes. And back then I was still traveling with, an, with my MacBook Pro who had a very safe case. So it was no problem for me to throw it into this thin bag because it was protected. But as you maybe know from my what I use as a travel tech, which gear I bring video, I switched to traveling with an iPad Pro as my main device and they are a little bit in danger of bending when they're not protected. So I really wanted to avoid that and that's why I switched to a different bag for my personal item. And what I used then or started using then was this Wayfarer bag from Eagle Creek and I really liked it a lot because it had a separate bedded compartment which fits exactly my 12 inch MacBook Pro plus my iPad mini in there. It has this uh, big compartment with a few internal sleeves and an internal zipper pocket. It has this front compartment where I would keep hand sanitizer and those things. And also very practical, it had this flat pocket here in the back, which was very safe for my passport and those things to keep it close to my body. And what I loved very much was that it has this bottle holder here. I mean, how, how genius is that having a bottle holder on a messenger bag? And I used it not just for bottles, but also for wet umbrellas and all those things. So I really liked this bag a lot. But there were two issues that I had with it. The first issue was that for me it was not very comfortable carrying my both my iPads in here because the bag gets very, very heavy. And the second thing is that it's a crossbody bag, so wearing it together with my backpack on long trips is not really comfortable. In the meantime, I bought a sturdy case for my iPad that now lives in my main bag, so there is no reason for me anymore to carry both iPads in here. But then what I did not enjoy too much was that this, just this part here, the two compartments or the padded compartment is very thick and takes a lot of space up in this bag that was wasted back then. So I decided to make a switch. And as you may guess already, when it comes to travel bags, it's not so difficult to convince myself that I need a new bag, because there was one bag that I already eyed for a long time, which is very unusual for me because it's a sling bag. And the sling bags, I'm left-handed, so most of them are not really compatible with me, I guess, because the stuff is always in the wrong side. Plus, I don't know if it's an Austrian thing or if it's just my generation, the thought of wearing a fanny pack 
is not very desirable for me. <laughs> but as I said, there is one bag that I really love from the distance. There were so many people reviewing it, saying it's awesome, it's the best travel bag. I really thought to myself, okay, maybe it's a sling bag, but I can wear it in the front more tight when I wear my backpack, so it's not so much in the way, so I'm gonna give it a try. And the bag that I ordered is the Belleroy Venture sling bag. I have the 9 liter version and I have to say I like it. I think the color is beautiful. I love that. I love the internal organization. I think it's genius. There's lots of compartment. I'm not going to show them. There's lots of reviews out there about this bag. But I really think, for example, that putting the eyeglasses compartment up here is genius because as somebody who wears optical glasses, I always carry two sets of glasses with me optical sunglasses, the normal glasses. So you always have one pair somewhere in the bag and when it goes to the bottom, you're always worried that they get, get squished and they're very expensive. So I really thought this was genius. But, and it's a very, 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 very big but. There is uh, two buckles on each side. And they open very easily. Okay. Haha, <laughs> not so easy when you're on camera. <laughs> but to be honest, I would not feel secure to wear all my valuables, my passport, all those things inside this bag, especially when you put it on the back. Everybody can just go there and with one thing, they're gone with your bag. So I would not feel comfortable for one second to travel with this bag. And for a while I thought maybe I can just super glue this together so it does not happen anymore. But to be honest, I'm not gonna pay 140 euros for a bag just to make compromises then. So I'm very, very sorry. I wish I could really love it, but this is just too insecure for me. So I'm gonna send this one back. So this brings us to the question, now that I already have so many good reasons why I need a new bag, which bag am I going to take as my personal item for this upcoming trip? And I actually found a fantastic replacement, in my opinion. And I was a little bit inspired by my first personal item love, like I told you in the beginning, the Eagle Creek tote bag, because it was so thin and it had a zipper and I could just throw everything in there and it was so useful. So I actually found a fantastic replacement and it's going to be the... This bag from Peak Design. I think it's called their shopper, packable shopper, foldable shopper. I will put the name in the description. But again, it's just a big bucket, very thin. It can fold into itself, into this inside compartment if necessary. And I like it very much because again, it has a zipper and it has only one handle. And this handle is covered with something that makes it less slippery. So when you wear it over the shoulder, it does not slide off so easily, which annoyed me a little bit on the Eagle Creek bag. And thanks to this bag, I'm also going to leave back home the shopping, the separate shopping bag that I brought. And as I mentioned, I'm not worried about my iPad because I bought this uh, hard case for it. And I now got the slimmer version, so it actually fits very nicely in here and inside my backpack if I need. But as you can see, there is not too much organization in here. And I'm going to pair this bag with this nice bag that Alpaca Gear sent me. Those people from Alpaca reached out and asked me if I wanted to test some of their bags. And with them, I happily said yes. And it was actually the first ones I said yes to. I got many requests now to test carry-on bags and stuff, but honestly, I'm not gonna test or use a carry-on bag that alone weighs five kilos when I only have seven kilos of allowance. And this, in my opinion, is perfect. This is my new everyday carry. I use it a few weeks now. And it's very practical and I like it very much because it has a very slim profile but it has one zipper compartment in the front, one zipper compartment in the back and another big zipper compartment here. So here I can organize all my things that I want to keep on me at all times and if anybody at the airport complains that I'm carrying two bags then I just put this one into the other one. So no problem there. So I'm very excited to use this combination on this next trip. So let me know what you use as a personal item, if you have any favorite bags. I think honestly I'm still on the look for a perfect bag. 
I would love to have one that's a crossbody or looks nice as a crossbody, but I can also wear it tight to my body if necessary, if I want to wear a backpack. Ideally, it has a, a bottle slot or a bottle holder and it's very lightweight and thin and all those things, but you know, I guess I can dream, right? <laughs> and until then, I'm very happy with this combination that I found. I'm ready to leave the winter behind and go back to the summer. And I have a few interesting videos planned, I hope about other packing topics, about what I carry as my everyday carry travel gear in this alpaca bag. I hope I see you in the next video and until then, have a good day. Bye!